In this simulation, we have several parts accessible from the drop-down menu on the bottom left of your screen. In parts 1A through 1C, we have several reagents and some test tubes. To dispense these reagents, click on the bottle to activate the dropper. Then click on the appropriate test tube to align the dropper. Dispense the reagent by repeatedly clicking on the dropper to dispense the solution dropwise. When complete, the dropper will return to the reagent bottle automatically. Proceed to the next reagent and repeat that process until you've added all necessary reagents. A reaction will progress inside the test tube. You can view that reaction in detail by clicking on the test tube to play a video. In part 2A, you'll perform a titration. You have a burette mounted over a stir plate, an Erlenmeyer flask, phenolphthalein indicator, a pipette, and reagents to work with. To begin, you can fill the burette with NaOH by clicking on the NaOH bottle. Then you can draw up 5 milliliters of the HCl solution by clicking the HCl bottle to activate it and then clicking on the pipette. Use your up arrow keys to draw up 5 milliliters of the acid solution and click transfer solution to transfer it to the Erlenmeyer flask. Next you can add some water to the flask by clicking the water bottle on the shelf. Finally, you can add some phenolphthalein indicator to the flask by clicking on it and subsequently clicking on the dropper to add it dropwise to the flask. Shake the Erlenmeyer flask to mix the reagents and then add it to the hot plate. At this point, you can turn on the stir bar to keep the solution well mixed and get an initial reading from the burette by clicking on the burette. Perform the titration by adding NaOH from the burette dropwise. This can be done by tapping or holding down the down arrow key. You'll notice the level in the burette decrease. Keep adding NaOH until you are warned to slow down. This means that you are close to the end point of the titration. At this point, you can periodically tap the down arrow key to slowly add your NaOH drop by drop. Watch closely for a color change in the flask. When you are very close to the end point, Adding a drop of NaOH will cause a temporary color change that will fade as the solution is mixed. Keep adding drops one by one until the color change is permanent. This corresponds to the end point of the titration and the final volume of titrant can be read from the burette. In part 2b, you'll be performing multiple titrations on a series of prepared solutions. Again, you have a burette mounted over a stir plate, a series of six vials, an Erlenmeyer flask, phenolphthalein indicator, a graduated cylinder, and several reagents available on the shelf. To begin, you can select either of the HCl, ethyl acetate, or deionized water to choose the volume of each you'd like to dispense to the graduated cylinder. Once the graduated cylinder has your chosen volume, you can dispense this to any of the vials by clicking on the cylinder and choosing the vial you'd like to place the solution in. Of course, you can also clear the cylinder if you've made an error with the volume added to it. In this way, you may proceed to add varying amounts of HCl, ethyl acetate, and water to each vial. When you're satisfied with the contents of your vial, you can place a cap on it and then shake it to mix the reagents. You can always check exactly what you've added to each vial by clicking on it and selecting View Solution. This will show a breakdown of each component that has been added to the vial. You can also clear any of the vials if you've made a mistake. Once all of your vials have been capped and shaken, you'll need to simulate the passing of time to complete the reaction. You can advance time by one week by clicking the button in the top left corner of your screen. Once the simulated time has passed, you can now begin your titrations. To perform a titration, select your vial and click Add to Erlenmeyer Flask. Make sure you click on the vial again to select Rinse Vial. This will ensure that all of the sample has been transferred to the flask. Next, you can click on the indicator bottle to add it to the solution. 
Click the dropper to add indicator dropwise until all the dropper is empty and it automatically returns to the bottle. Now you can fill the burette with NaOH by clicking on the NaOH bottle. Now move the Erlenmeyer flask to the stir plate by clicking it. Click on the burette to get the initial reading from it. And use the down arrow to dispense NaOH from the burette to the flask. Continue adding the NaOH until the solution remains a consistent pink color. At this point, you may click on the burette to take your final volume reading. Repeat this procedure for each of your vials, taking note of your burette volumes for each.